Hey guys, if you guys need your 12 and O's, domination, Evos, any sorts of online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA on Twitter. The link to his Twitter will be in the description down below. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here today, I'm going to be bringing you guys a video on basically how to beat domination. Now, this isn't going to be like just a standard like how to beat domination video where I just show you guys one play and say, okay, good luck. Um, I did that. I actually posted this video last night and then I did YouTube actually took it down But I'm kind of happy they did because you guys deserve the best quality and I really want to give you guys the best quality video I can so I'm gonna remake this video. That's basically what I'm doing now um, And yeah, there's a lot of different stuff. I want to add to the video anyway So it's gonna kind of work out for you guys. I'm talking about different playbooks players that I recommend using um, Different strategies on defense and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know if I already said playbooks I think I already that is the first thing I said but uh, you guys get the point. So if you guys do enjoy this video, do me a favor and leave a like on it. It would be greatly appreciated. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and you guys did enjoy the content. It would be greatly appreciated. I am on the road to 60,000 subscribers at this moment. Um, and yeah, really quick though, I did just want to bring back the whole comment, you know, question of the day. Comment down below when you guys see this video. I want you guys to comment down, down below. Who is your favorite player to use in 2K21, my team? The reason why I'm asking that is because this is going to change throughout the entire year with new cards coming out when people see this video and stuff like that. So I'm actually curious. So do me a favor, comment down your favorite card right now. Now getting into domination here, this is going to be, you know, kind of the most important thing, I think. And that is actually going to be getting your MT total. So you guys can see in regular domination on Hall of Fame, it is 625. Now that's just for the first row, the second row, same thing. Third row, same thing, which I'm imagining all these other ones are the same thing. You guys can kind of see, though, I'm actually almost done with current domination, which is pretty nice. Um, still got a little bit of a way to go. We're about to be halfway done, I actually should say. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're getting there. I actually have a pretty good strategy of what I'm doing here. Because you guys could also see in historic domination, I actually have more stars in historic than I do in current. We actually have 90 stars in total. So, looking at historic domination, is the same exact thing where you take a look. It's on superstar difficulty instead of Hall of Fame, but the MT total is a little bit higher at 775. So it's going to be kind of the same thing here. And then when you take a look at all time domination, it's 900 and on superstar. Now, all time has actually been giving me some problems. I'm going to get into that in a little bit here. Um, I'm probably going to make a separate video just for all time domination. So as of right now, I am going to try to stick to the uh, current and historic domination. So basic ways of getting your mt totals really nicely you guys can see again i'm having no problems with these games um even going up against tough teams like the uh, like the rockets we'll say with hakeem olajuwon easy 775 mt now the really uh, the, one of the ways that you guys want to earn mt in the game that is really good is you want to take advantage of the end game you know totals that get added into your in-game totals so at the end you really want to make sure that you took at least 10 free throws five three pointers and you really want to try to get as many fast break points as you can because those will actually like multiply and add to your empty totals and that's actually what helps you out more than anything else so when you guys are playing domination games like i said free throws three pointers and fast break points are the most important thing realistically with the way this game is i would try to like just avoid the three pointers because you're not really going to make them at least right now the shooting is really bad so at this point you really want to make sure you're getting to the free throw line and knocking them down efficiently because say you shoot nine of ten from the free throw line that's going to be 90 or like night that yeah that's 90 mt multiplied by whatever the end game total is and that's going to be added into your total as well so you really want to make sure that you're shooting pretty efficiently and making sure that you're getting that extra mt and then fast break points i think get multiplied as well so you want to make sure that you're getting those fast break points as much as you can now i am a little bit farther ahead like i did say so if you're watching this video and you just started out you guys are probably going to be like okay you know like i don't have you know these good players whatever i wasn't using these players throughout this whole entire time this is why i made the video about shaq being the best though is your key thing is going to be your big man down low i'm talking about your four position and i'm talking about your five position so power forward and center by far the most important things First person I'm going to recommend you guys get is the Sapphire Kristaps Porzingis. He is super cheap. He's like under 5K. I know that. He's probably even like 2K at this point. But you want to make sure you pick him up as soon as you can. The reason why is because he is a 7'3 power forward who is really good at defense, can shoot the ball. But more importantly, like I said, he's glitchy in the sense that he'll block shots and also grab rebounds for you. And that is really what you need in domination is that paint protector. And he's just playing the 4. At the 5, we do have Shaq who is only 7'1". 
but the two of them down there are perfect so if you can't afford shack or you don't have shack or whatever i'm going to show you guys some alternatives to those in just a second outside of that though your wing players really don't matter as much i'm going to show you some options for kd as well that i think are going to be pretty solid but kevin durant too is really cheap right now and i 100 you guys rec i 100 recommend you guys pick him up asap he's going for like 25k right now maybe even 30k at this point but make sure you pick him up if you can because he is well worth it trust me he definitely changed my team your guards really don't matter um guys that you can shoot with matter the most i've just been eviling up these guys as you guys could see so outside of that it hasn't really mattered too too much but i'm gonna show you guys some alternatives to these guys right now so ruby centers alone joel Embiid is actually one of the more solid ones i think you guys should pick up i'm gonna just go ahead and do that um towns is another really good one 5k right there for towns you have towns you have Embiid, two really quick centers right there Jokic, i would kind of stay away from i don't really like Jokic really that much in this game that's just me i've never really liked using Jokic anyway so i would just try to kind of stay away from him power forwards richard lewis zach randolph these are two new guys that did just come out I wouldn't really recommend either of those. So as of right now, looking at rubies, I'm talking straight up Joel Embiid and um, uh, Carl Anthony Towns. Now at Sapphire Centers, again, you have Chris up there, which one's up for 10K. Maybe his price did go up. That's lowering a little bit. Vladi Divac is probably another solid option you can go with. He is a seven foot one center. Probably has some really good rebounding stats as well. Rudy Gobert, again, same thing. You don't want to be looking at your center for offense. You really want to be looking at your big men for defensive purposes. So Bam can only play the center, so I really wouldn't recommend picking him up. If he could play the power forward, I would, but he can't, unfortunately. So out of that, I 100% just recommend playing... Um, what's his name? I 100% just recommend playing Rudy Gobert, Joel Embiid, Vladi Divac. Those big body centers that are going to help you out a lot when it comes to being able to block shots and rebound the ball. Good alternatives for Kevin Durant. I mean, I'm already looking at Tatum as one. Tatum is probably a really good option. You just kind of want that slashing wing player that can play really well. Siakam would be cool if he could play the three, but unfortunately he can only play the four and the five. Um, Jimmy Butler is a very solid option. Ben Simmons is another one. Ben Simmons is another one you can run at the four. And then you do have Chris Middleton, another really good wing player that you could even run at the two. Um, I would recommend running him or maybe even Brandon Ingram at the three. But um, just really what you're looking for in your wing player is another guy to be kind of glitchy, block some shots, grab some steals, stuff like that. Um, and then this Jamal Wilkes is actually pretty cheap. I have him. Um, I mean, he's six foot six, obviously going to play the three. But, I mean, he does come with gold clamps, which is kind of important. Um, but, yeah, I mean, his defense is actually really solid. So, you kind of want to keep up with that. He's an 88 perimeter defense. I mean, it's pretty good, especially in domination where you kind of need defense. Now, to the most important part that people have probably been waiting on, I'm going to be talking about playbooks. These are going to be the best playbooks for domination. Now, you have the Hawks playbook, which has a play called Give 25 Hawks on it. Something like that, or Hawks 25 give, something like that. I may have said it backwards either way. Um, but the point is, that is the play in here that you guys do want to focus on. That's the one that I've been using that I've had no problems with. I actually just put up a playbook tutorial video on that, so be sure to go check that out. It's, it's like two videos behind this one that you guys will see. I'll just link it in the comments down below. But you also have the Nets playbook that do ha that does have a play called like Quick 32 Slice, somewhere around those lines, where again, it is more of a quick through STS style play where a guy will come around and cut right to the paint. In the Pistons playbook, they do have one as well, similar to the one in the Nets playbook. And there's going to be one in the Knicks playbook that you can go ahead and use as well. Very similar plays. They're all named like the same thing, basically. Um, and really, they like I said, they are all just one big quick through STS play. I really recommend the Hawks, though, more than anything. Um, the reason why is because this playbook actually pops up a lot, where I'm going to show you another, like the last playbook I'm going to be talking about that's not really on the market all that much. So the Hawks is my favorite one to use. I, it's what I just use, like I said, every game. Had no problems with it. Full playbook tutorial already up on my channel of what to do with the play and everything like that. So the final playbook that I'm talking about is going to be the Dallas Mavericks playbook. Now, this playbook, shout out to my boy RCA. I'm actually going to put his channel link in the description down below or in the comments, either one. Be sure to go check it out. He actually put up a brand new playbook tutorial video um, on this playbook, and he's really good for playbook tutorials. Like, uh, trust me, if you're not going to watch mine, I highly recommend watching his. But obviously, you know, you guys can see the price of why it's so high. But this playbook does actually have a play that is probably the most similar to Quick Through STS, 
but I don't expect everybody to have 40k right now, so that's why I'm saying the Hawks playbook is probably the best for you guys, especially if you're a budget baller out there. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to hop into a game really quick and kind of show you guys how to set up the play and how to do different stuff. So right away, when you guys get into the game, you're going to pause it and you're going to go to offensive settings. When you get to this play selection screen, you're going to click on whatever one you want to, whatever one you're most comfortable with, and you're going to hit give 25 Hawks. Now, this is where, again, you actually, you don't have to really set up your freelance. I just do it because I just prefer to do it. But this is where, again, this play comes in handy when you're doing evos for different players and stuff like that. If you hit triangle on PS4 or Y if you're on Xbox, you will be able to assign the play to whoever you want. Now, this, again, for me, works out best. If I'm just trying to win the game, I'm putting it on Kevin Durant. You guys will see why when we get into the game. Like I said, I've already showed this a little bit in a playbook tutorial video. So I go in depth about what to do in different ways with the play. Um, but this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys, like I said, what the play does, how it works, and stuff like that. So we wouldn't tip off here right away. You know, set up your freelance, do whatever you got to do. So you're going to hit L1 if you're on PS4, or LB if you're on Xbox. You're going to open up the play menu, and you're going to pass the ball. You're going to go here. You're going to hold triangle or Y to have him backdoor cut. I hit the wrong button. That is my fault. Of course, the play is going to break down when I'm trying to show you guys. That's on me. So we're just going to take a terrible shot. Yeah. So let's try that again. Like I said, quick through STS didn't work every single time, and neither is this play. But all jokes aside, though, you guys will see KD is going to cut back door, and you're going to get a wide open dunk. Easy. That's normally what's going to happen every single time. Now, again, it's not going to work like 100%, but most of the time, you will be getting a wide open dunk, a wide open layup. Even half the time, you'll get fouled. It doesn't even really matter. The point is, you are going to be scoring very easily. Now, right there's a good example as to why I like running. Um, like KD, Shaq, and Kristaps all together because you guys can see how the height like, comes into effect. I get a lot of blocks, which not only helps out on the defensive end, but actually helps me as far as getting um, MT for the totals and stuff like that. So we're going to get an easy and one layup right there. And again, you guys can see how the play works. I'll show it probably like one more time. But now I actually want to focus up on defense. On the defensive end, you're just going to hit left on the D-pad, and you're going to switch to a 2-3 zone, and then all you're going to do is click on no threes. Now, when you do that, of course, again, as I'm saying that, Chris Stops is just going to leave him wide open. But trust me, I normally sit here and will run this zone all game long. If you guys want to feel free, you guys can go back and look at my streams on Twitch. I leave them open for everybody to go watch. But that's all I've been doing is running zones, and it's been working out for me very easily. Now, if you're seeing that, obviously, they're hitting every single shot, which sometimes that does happen, get out of the zone. I will show you what to do in man-to-man. -man. But realistically, right here, this is all you want to do is you just want to, like, let them do whatever on offense. It's really not that much of a rush. You're going to get easy steals. Half the time, I just let them shoot. Like, I'll just sit there, flop on the three-point line, let them shoot. If they make it, they make it. If not, you're getting the rebound, and you're going to be scoring a lot easier on fast breaks and stuff like that. Fast breaks are really good for getting assists as well. Like I was talking about before, um, you really want to make sure you're trying to get as many fast break points as possible. So when you hold triangle or Y to make them cut, you guys will see that you're going to cut in. And also, this is really good for you getting your free throws. As you can see, already we're in the first quarter and we're getting to the line for the second time. Both of them were and ones, but you guys get the point. You're going to be getting to the free throw line a lot. And that's why I like that play is because it not only gives you assists, but it gives you points. It gives you like and ones it gives you free throws like whatever you really need this play really does kind of help out and then again on the defensive end it's literally as simple as just running a zone playing good defense they're gonna get bailed out by fouls it happens but you guys kind of get the point so i'm gonna flash this to the end of the game and you guys are gonna see kind of how efficient this game is gonna go just from running this play and playing this defense um i mean the score might be a little bit closer uh just because i'm not streaming or anything so i'm probably gonna stop paying attention at some point and blow the lead and then i don't know maybe maybe lose the game who knows all right so now that we're at the end of the game here you guys will see that again we actually earned 1200 mt which is actually a lot more than what i normally get anyway so pretty cool that in the video we actually do get probably the most that i've earned um in total but you guys can see again right here kevin durant 46 points 20 of 24 shooting really efficient just again those threes that we couldn't knock down Shaq actually had a triple double which is pretty cool um, and you guys can see we shot 74% as a team, 8 of 8 from the line. So I actually, I just got 1,200 MT and didn't even get the free throws that I was supposed to. So keep that in mind that I just made that much MT and still didn't even get the free throws. So it's very easy to do. And again, that was on Hall of Fame. You just really want to make sure that you're running those plays. And again, like I said, 
run a zone and just have those like trees down low basically and it's just going to help you run your defense a little bit better help you get easy stops and you're not really going to lose a whole lot of games and then again you guys can see you get easy tokens easy packs all that sort of fun stuff we're going to go ahead and get Kizi opala uh that is going to be the heat player and yeah once we're done with the magic we're actually completely done with the east um and we will be able to actually unlock brooke lopez so gladly we'll take that um and yeah we're gonna keep grinding so i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said be sure to leave a like if it did help you guys out uh subscribe if you guys are new let me just give that to shack we're gonna get keezy and uh yeah peace